In this video, I'm going to show you how to add and delete columns and rows in Microsoft Excel. We're going to look at the basics and a few tips and tricks to help you do this more effectively. Many times when you're working in Excel and you've entered some data, from time to time you need to add a column, maybe not at the far right of your data, but somewhere inside your data. Same with rows. How do you do that? So first let's look at the most common method that many people use, and that is to right click. If I want to add a column here between C and D, all I need to do is right click on D and choose insert. And a new column will be added before column D. There it is. And now I can click in D1 and type in the column heading. Rows work the same way. I can right click here on row 10 on the actual number, click insert, and a new row is added before the current row that I had selected. Now in this case, I needed not only one row, but four. Why? Because this spreadsheet is tracking four quarters of the year for each of these album names and bands. So if I'm trying to add the Depeche Mode album Some Great Reward to this spreadsheet, I need it four times. The good news is I don't have to right click on 11 and choose insert and then do it again and then do it again. Instead, all I need to do is click and drag from, in this case, row 13 to row 11, making sure that I'm staying on the row numbers, and then I can right click on any of those row numbers and choose insert. Because I selected three row numbers, when I click insert, three blank rows are inserted before whatever I had selected. So now I have the three additional rows that I need. Now that works also for columns. So if I need three more columns in front of column E, I can just click and drag on E, F, G, right click on any one of those and choose insert and three columns are added before the columns I had selected. I'm gonna undo that with Control Z. If you're not exactly sure how many columns or rows you need to add, you could just use the first method I showed, just right click, choose insert, and then you can just tap the F4 key, and each time you tap it, you'll get a new column. In this case, F4 is just repeating my last action. It works the same way with rows. So if I right click, insert one row, but maybe I wish I had inserted two, three, or four, I could just tap the F4 key, I get another row, maybe I tap it a few more times, get a few more rows. So those are a couple of different ways to add more than one row or column at a time. You can use the click and drag to select multiple rows method or columns, and then just right click to insert that exact number. Or if you're not exactly sure, just insert one or two blank rows or columns, and then tap the F4 key a few times as needed. Now what about deleting columns or rows? I obviously don't need all of these columns I've added, so I'm going to click and drag to select the columns I don't need, I'm clicking and dragging on the column letters, E through H in this case, and then I'll right click on any one of them and select delete. And they're gone, and the rest of the data scoots over to take the place of what I deleted. Same with rows, click and drag to select 14 and 15 in this case, right click on either one of those numbers, and then choose delete. In addition to inserting columns and rows and also deleting them, you can right click on a column letter or a row number, and choose cut. This is one way to move your data from one place to another in the spreadsheet. So now that I clicked cut, if you look very closely, you can see that the outline around that column has changed. I want to insert it here before column D. So I'll right click on D, choose insert cut cells, and it doesn't erase the column that I set up for record labels. It just scoots it over to the right, inserts a column to the left of it. And of course, it also works with rows, and even multiple rows. So in this case, I selected 10 through 13. I'll right click on any of the row numbers, choose cut. I want to put this in alphabetical order in this case. So I'll right click on column six, because I want it to appear before column six, and I choose insert cut cells, and all four of those rows now have moved up into the proper place. Now there's one other technique that I want you to know for inserting and deleting columns and rows in Excel, and that is you really should know the keyboard shortcuts. In Excel, anytime you can just keep your hands on the keyboard instead of moving from the keyboard to the mouse, you're saving yourself time and hassle, and you'll find yourself being much more efficient in your use of Excel. So let's look at how to do the same thing I showed earlier, but using just keyboard shortcuts. So I'm gonna click somewhere in column D. I would like to add a column for stars, the number of stars that I think each of these albums deserves. And I'd like that column to appear before column D. So I clicked anywhere in column D, 
I'll hold the control key and tap spacebar. That selects the entire column. Next, I'll hold control, hold shift, and then tap the plus sign on the keyboard, and I get a brand new column. And then of course, I could go up here and give the column a heading of stars. Now if I change my mind, I can just hold control, tap spacebar, and then holding control again, I could tap minus on the keyboard and it deletes the column I had added. What about rows? I'd like to add another album by the Killers. So I'm gonna go anywhere in row number 22. Instead of using the mouse to click, I could just use the arrow keys. And there's some other ways as well to navigate with just using the keys on the keyboard. But anywhere in row number 22, instead of control spacebar, this time I need to hold shift and tap spacebar. Why the difference? because it's a row, not a column. Now that that row is selected, again, I'll hold Control, hold Shift, tap the plus sign, and I get a brand new row above the row that I had selected. And I can tap it a couple more times, just tapping that plus sign to add enough columns so that I can put in the data that I need. So now I can easily put in that data. It looks like I put in one too many rows. That's okay. I just use the arrow keys to get anywhere in row number 22. Hold shift, tap spacebar. I hold control, and this time I tap minus, and it removes the extra blank row that I don't need. So in this video, we've looked at three basic ways of adding columns and rows, and also deleting columns and rows in your Excel spreadsheets. Just the simple right-click method, including selecting and then right-clicking on multiple rows or columns at the same time and then inserting blank columns or rows. And then we also looked at inserting a column or row and then just tapping the F4 key as many times as you need to to repeat that action and end up with the right amount of rows or columns. And then finally, we looked at the keyboard shortcuts that will help you keep your hands on the keyboard and working efficiently in Excel. Adding and deleting columns and rows really is one of the most intimidating things about using Excel for those that are just starting out learning to use the program. So I hope that this video has helped to clarify things so that you can confidently work with your data in Microsoft Excel. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this tutorial to be helpful. If you did, please like, follow, and subscribe. And when you do, click the bell so you'll be notified when I post another video. If you'd like to support my channel, consider clicking the thanks button below the video, or you can support me through my Patreon account or by buying channel merch, and you'll find information about those options in the description below the video. Speaking of Patreon, I want to give a quick shout out to my $5 Patreon supporters. Thank you so much for all you do to support the channel. I really appreciate your support.